little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Hey guys, this is Big Square, RoadToRoad.com. Just giving you a brief update on where we are as far as the silver panic that is coming. Yes, it will be a panic. Um, you will be panicking. If you're listening to this, you will be panicking to get physical silver in your own possession. Um, the stock market, the bond market, all prices are completely and totally out of whack. Um, so it gets down to what are you going to invest in? What are you going to keep your money in? Not just invest in. Those who say, oh, I'm holding a lot of cash for the crash, doesn't understand what's happening. That cash is being held by a bank or a brokerage house or even physical bills. There will be no exchanges open to catch the bottom of the market this time. The market is completely out of whack. The plan is to shut it down, to destroy all markets and start fresh. I can't help you with that. Holding cash, waiting for a dip, good night. If you have your cryptos in an exchange, Tether, for example, you're going to lose it all. You just weren't smart enough to get the whole picture, and the whole picture is a total destruction. I saw this on Zero Hedge today. Silver soars as NASDAQ underperforms. <clears throat> That's not allowed in the history. The last 20 years, I've been watching silver versus the stock market. They go up together. They go down together. It, it sounds counterintuitive, which it is. You know, you could say, oh, you know, demand's falling for industrial products. Sure it is. But all the mines are shut down, too. Even worse than what the demand has dropped. This is a big deal. This is the end of 150 years of price manipulation by the crypto, not the crypto, the silver cabal and the crypto cabal. They're going to get theirs, too. The owners of Binance and Bitfinex and Tether that have been rigging the crypto market since day one will get theirs. Certain cryptos will survive this. Certain, Most of them will not. If you have your cryptos in an exchange, you will lose them. Period. Interesting, JP Morgan, the king, the kingpin of market manipulation, says central banks have co created a collective hallucination where valuations are entirely fabricated. You would know, JP Morgan. You rig any and every market. You're probably just mad because the central banks are rigging them more than you are. <laughs> Here's what J.P. Morgan said in an interview. Bloomberg TV, Oskana Aronoff, sounds, sounds Russian, look out, head of alternate alternative fixed income strategy at J.P. Morgan Asset Management, said that central bank buying has forced credit, forced rising credit valuations out of line with deteriorating fundamentals, resulting in a market where everything is broken. And remember, they just fired the head of bond trading at J.P. Morgan. European and U.S. credit investors are, quote, locked in this collective hallucination with the central banks around valuations and what they mean and that there is a lack of desire to acknowledge the fact that market valuations are entirely fabricated. <laughs> Who's been saying that for two decades now? Or synthetically generated? by the central bank liquidity and by J.P. Morgan and the market riggers, and do not reflect fundamentals of securities that they represent. Clearly, J.P. Morgan is trying to destroy the economic system. Why? Because they want Trump out. They're part of the bad guys. Aronoff said in a Friday BTV interview, adding, quote, central banks continue to run the show and investors need to be really cautious here. Since when has J.P. Morgan wanted to see a crash in anything? And yes, silver was up today, another 17 cents from being down, slammed down below $19. It's at, back up to uh, 133, $19.33. $19 These numbers, you will just be, it's like buying Bitcoin when Bitcoin was, say, $20. That's what buying silver is right now. Yes, silver will go probably to the Bitcoin price of 9000 over the years. But instantly, if it was freely traded and all it takes is one ounce of silver traded, the next trade on the COMEX could be one freely traded ounce. It could go from $20 to $600 in one ounce trade. You don't need that billions to go into it. That's how exchanges work. The market cap of anything is the last trade 
times the price. So you don't need for Bitcoin to go up $1 trillion right now. You can do that with one Bitcoin. If the next trade was $1 trillion, someone bought one Bitcoin for $1 trillion, you would take that $1 trillion times all the Bitcoin out there, $21 million totally in the future, and that's your market cap. That's how market cap works. You don't need quadrillions of dollars to go into Bitcoin to be, for it to be valued at a quadrillion dollars. That's the games they play with market manipulation. So yes, silver can go from $19.33. And if there are no buy, no sellers, who in their right mind would sell silver right now? With all that's going on in the silver world and in the economy, the only people selling silver are those who want to keep the price low. Market riggers. That's the only people. And this will be true all the way up to $600. It might happen tomorrow. This big uh, blackout of the internet and phone lines that is coming could be 100% related to the shift over in the monetary system. I don't know. They don't tell me that stuff. Other than I do believe we are coming to a point where the internet will then be down for days. I wouldn't say weeks or months, but days. And your phone will be down for days. How much will you freak out? How much will your neighbors freak out? How many guns do you have to protect your friends and family? Do your friends and family know that it, there is a planned blackout coming? That's something you should tell them. And speaking of planned, deceitful, completely throwing lives out the window politicians, Gavin Newsom has ordered no schools to be open. Of course, before the election. If the Democrats, I'm going to vote Democrat, I think. Why? Because I want COVID to go away the next day. I want everything to open up the next day. If the Democrats win, that's what's happening. The next day, COVID will be gone. The next day, everybody will open up their business and they'll have a boom. That's how fraudulent these people are. They are lying through their teeth. I'm not saying it's not going to kill you if you get COVID. Not this strand, but probably the next strand. What do you do? We're in year zero, my friends. This isn't even close to the craziness that'll hit in the next two months. Do expect to see crazy things. Absolutely, off the wall, crazy things. Not just in the economy. Not just from politicians. It'll come from the sky. It'll come from underground. The world as we know it has changed and will never, never, ever go back to the way it was. Ever. I am discussing things with my friend Will Lair. Um, now is the time to get medals in your pocket if you can find them, and especially cryptos in your own pocket. The good ones, not the shit. And you're going to have to either join the Road to Ruta, I give you my picks, or figure out what the shit coins are, and if the, if the regulators come after them, who's going to survive and who's not going to survive. If we do go into a crypto world, which I think we are headed there very fast, there will be cryptos that will be acceptable and cryptos that will not be acceptable from the powers that be. You want to be on the acceptable side. Anyway, go to roadrooter.com. Watch my video this morning on the perfect storm. We are in silver's perfect storm. If you can get your hands on some silver, ASAP do it. ASAP, as soon as possible. This game will not end to, into the delivery month of September. It is not going to last that long. And then what happens to the rest of the world if some of the biggest banks in the world go down? You make the call. This is Big Square, RoadRoader.com. I'm going to leave you with Pay Me My Silver Now. Enjoy. Like Little Feet.